Hey guys, so I hope you had uh, an interesting look at the last video where we were discussing uh, a lot of the steps that happens when GCC compiles and we also discussed these flags 0, 1, 02 and 03 and these are very interesting because they run a certain optimizations on your code. Um, what uh, we will discuss in continuation with that is something really interesting is that how these optimization flags can actually affect uh, your code in very real ways and how you can also write a better code you can take a help of some of these optimizations this is a very unique case and it's also a very uh, a frequently asked uh, question that i asked myself in my interviews a lot is for people to turn a function into a tail call optimized function okay so what is a tail call optimized function we will discuss that we'll take a look at that in this video so uh, what I'm going to do is create a fact.c file where I'm going to create a factorial function, okay? And this function is going to be a basic recursive function, not your efficient one. It's going to be a simply int fact, which will have int n. And inside that, I'm going to do is, uh, you know, uh, if uh, n equal to 1, then I will return n. Uh, else, uh, I will return uh, n into factorial of n minus 1, okay? Okay. Um, so uh, the thing is, uh, I'm not writing the main uh, function here. I'm not actually going to call the fact function here as of now, right now. You know, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, this is just the fact.c file. And uh, if I, uh, if I, you know, uh, go to, uh, you know, F12 and if I write, you know, gcc hyphen uh, s uh, fact.c, let me just clear the existing things. gcc hyphen uh, s uh, fact.c. We have a fact.s file which contains the definition of the factorial function here which uh, does all of these steps some move and jump and all of that stuff again you don't need to really understand uh, how assembly language works but you can see this line call q fact which means there's a recursive call to fact so it keeps on calling fact and while it keeps on calling it will need to keep uh, the previous frame in the stack and to keep on keeping frames in the stack which will mean you have a big stack when you run a factorial of a big number okay um what I'm going to do is rewrite this function in a way in which I uh, will convert this return line to not have anything apart from the call to factorial. I'll do is I will add another variable called int uh, a and uh, originally I was calling it like uh, this uh, fact of uh, 10 which was getting converted into you know uh, 9 into fact of uh, sorry 10 into fact of 9 which was uh, getting converted into 10 uh, into you know uh, 9 into fact of 8 and so on so as you can see when this function is running uh, this 10 needs to stay in the memory when this function is running 9 needs to stay in memory and then when this entire thing is running 10 needs to stay in memory so we have got a stack that we need now what i'm going to do is i'm going to rewrite this in a way that uh, i will uh, write uh, this thing i will take n and a as the initial variables and i will call this function as fact of uh, 10 comma 1 and if uh, the value of n becomes 1 i will return a and then otherwise i will return fact of n minus 1 comma n into a now how will this uh, code run if you look at it fact of 10 comma 1 will trigger a call into fact of uh, 9 comma 10 which will trigger a call of uh, fact of 8 comma 90 which will uh, trigger a call of uh, fact of 7 uh, comma 720 and uh, so on as you can see uh, sorry fact of 7 so as you can see uh, when i'm call when i'm making a call to this i don't need anything uh, in my memory from these function or from this function or from this function because my return line is uh it is not in x plus fact or it is not y into fact it's not none of these things it's simply a pure call to fact itself so when my return line is directly a pure call to fact itself we say that this function is written in a tail call optimized way because uh we would not need to keep any variable from the outer function in my memory when i pass uh here because whatever i needed i have passed it here as an argument into this function itself i just don't need anything from outside of this body uh, to be retained when I run this function because when I run this function whatever I will return from this function will get directly returned from to the outer function so the stack of frames do not need to be created but the interesting thing is if I run GCC with uh, O of 0 and I assemble the fact.c file 
uh, I will get this uh, factorial function code which as you can see has the fact function and it still contains uh, the call to fact uh, line which of course was the case earlier so it's still recursive in nature the interesting thing is going to happen you know uh, right now so the interesting thing that will happen is if I write GCC uh, hyphen uh, capital O three which is the third stage of optimization and I run fact dot C then this file would have changed a lot and there is a lot of these tables that have been getting created uh, but uh, we'll get uh, we don't really need to deal with those things right now I don't really want to get into how assembly works but the interesting thing here is if I look for fact you will see that there is no line which says call Q fact anymore so that recursive call has actually been removed uh, and how that happens that is because uh, compilers like GCC or some interpreters like the JavaScript interpreter they support something called tail call optimization and tail call optimization means that if my function is written in a way which is called tail recursion and tail recursion is when your return line is a pure call to the function itself okay a pure call means that you don't have not uh, computed the value of the function and added it to something or multiplied it to something or like say for example in the case of Fibonacci you do fib n is fib n plus 1 uh, fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 which means that you compute Fibonacci twice and you add those two values and then you go back to your parent so those are not pure calls pure calls means that you know your return line only contains uh, a single call back to that same function these kind of uh, tail recursive functions can be executed in a iterative manner rather than a recursive manner and there are compilers which actually do that for you if you have written your function in a tail recursive manner and you use the uh, appropriate optimization flags so hopefully that helps you uh, uh, I don't know if you knew about it already but uh, if it was something that you did not know I think that's a very interesting thing to know I personally uh, ask this question a lot in interviews. I ask people to write the normal recursive Fibonacci function and they write it, uh, which is Fib n is Fib n minus 1 plus Fib n minus 2. And then I tell them to turn this function into a tail call optimized function, uh, which is don't use a for loop or a while loop, but simply take the recursive function and turn it into a tail call optimized one. So it's a very nice exercise. It gives you an idea if, pers if a person can think of an iterative way within a recursive framework or not. Okay, uh, hope that helps you. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching the video.